Good morning, my lovely people. It is, what time is it? It is 10.30 a.m. and it is off to the greenhouse. I have to collect some leaf tissue, discard some plants, and then one of my friends is meeting me there because he wants to do like a xylem experiment. So just FYI, in plants, xylem is what transports water from the roots to the stems and leaves and the rest of the plant. And the phloem is what transports the sugars that are made in the leaves to the rest of the plant. So yeah, he's doing some xylem study. So that will be cool. And yeah, so off to the greenhouse to meet him. Hey guys, so we're at the greenhouse now and I'm here with my friend Paul, who's going to explain what he needs my plants for. Hi, I'm Paul. So I'm taking these plants to test my protocol to measure xylem sap to determine the balance between shoot and root nitro nit nitrogen assimilation, how plants take nit nitrogen in the soil and uh, assimilate into a protein in the plants. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> So while Paul is collecting the plants that he needs for his xylem and nitrogen assimilation studies, I am collecting leaf tissue from these guys here. These are F1s from successful crosses done earlier this year. And so here, if you see on the tag, the mother is the top 3308 and the father is 2991. And it's important to grow these plants out nice and healthy because they're F1, so they're heterozygous, right, for the mother and father. And their offspring will be F2s that will be segregating for the genes in from the mother and the father. And it's the F2s that we will do our phenotype screens to see what differences are there from the genes in the mother and the father. So earlier I mentioned that this is the best parking spot and I'm going to show you why. I mean, literally, it's one tree and its branches come down and surround your car, right? And living branches are behind it, so it's really pretty. There are more trees, like, back there, I think, over there. Um, but no, it just creates this really cool enclave that protects your car from the sun. And yeah, like, who wouldn't love this parking spot? I mean, just look at it. It is now 1 p.m. and though I have a lot of tasks to be done in the lab today, I can't forget about my lab duties, which include, right, <laughs> the lab waste. Luckily, this doesn't take very long and it's almost a nice break from the other stuff I have to do. Phew, oh my gosh, it is 8 p.m. and I'm just now leaving the lab. But I got a lot done, a lot of paces and PCRs and digestions. Um, all those things you probably hopefully have seen in previous videos, right? Um, but it was just a lot. Um, anyway, now it's time to go to the wine bar, but first I have to go eat dinner. I don't know what I'm going to make. I'll make something. Then wine bar tonight. And so I'll try to get a video of that for you all. Um, cause it's pretty nice outdoor area, um, with my Altius group. So if I don't, then I hope you all have a wonderful Friday night and I'll see you this weekend. But if I do, then look forward to seeing the wine bar. <laughs> so, turns out they changed their mind. We're not going to the wine bar tonight. Instead, we're having a sangria night at the boys' house. So, that's what I'm having now. And it should be a good Friday night still. I don't know. I think they have cookies as well. Maybe leftover pizza from yesterday. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, y'all all have a great night. <laughs> 